minute Poughkeepsie, but I just like saying that. You're not missing shit. No. Yeah, I've, I've been to Poughkeepsie. It's, yeah, we it's, made bail in Poughkeepsie, baby. <laughs> Twice. Well, how, welcome, let me be the first to welcome you both to Sacramento. Welcome to Sacramento. Help me welcome our guests to Sacramento. <laughs> now, we're gonna do a nice long Q&A with the two of you after the show tonight, but during the show, they'll be uh, in the lobby if you wanna get an autograph or a selfie, that type of thing, our guests will be available, so they'll be out in the lobby. I may be in the bar next door. <laughs> <laughs> Meet us there. <laughs> Well, you know what? I think these two have fucking earned it. What do you all think? <laughs> is, there, is there anything you all want to say before we start the movie tonight? Well, yeah. I, I, I'd like to say that, you know, 49 years ago this summer, next year will be the 50th anniversary of shooting this film. Yeah. Yeah. I was 28 and Ed was already like 40 or some shit. Right? Yeah. I was eight. My mom and took me to the set and helped me up to do the lines. And, but, uh, yeah, we had no idea. You know, 50 years later, almost 50 years later, we'd be up here seeing fans. And that, and that this film would last like this. And it was just, it was a perfect storm, you know. A bunch of young actors and young filmmakers got together for the summer and made a film. You know, and uh, we were both theater guys. We were serious les <laughs> lesbians. Yeah. Well, it always helped me memorize, uh, you know, Shakespeare. <laughs> what? Well, You're really stoned and like, it's the rhythm of the language. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but the thing is, is, we were all the actors were actually actors, and all the filmmakers were actually filmmakers, and uh, everybody knew what they were doing. They did a good job of hiring, of, of, of crewing up, and of casting the film, and it, it turned out to, I mean, just be magic. So, thank you all for keeping us alive. <laughs> Cemetery plot. I had to put a sign in it. It said coming soon. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Fifty years I've been putting up with this fucking idiot. <laughs> and I have the Polaroids in the jail cell to prove it. Now, Ed, please, please, on behalf of all of us, not too soon, because we need you to stick around for whatever crappy remake they're gonna do next. <laughs> because you're maybe not that. <laughs> We call them the 90210 versions. <laughs> they're from Hollywood, where they have neither Holly nor Wood. What's that? 90210, is that Beverly Hills or something? It is Beverly Hills for those. Uh, oh, do you know how the Beverly Hills Police Department uh, conducts a uh, drunk driving test? Uh, thank you. They show you a picture of Fernando Lamas. And a picture of Ricardo Montalban, you gotta tell them which is which. <laughs> oh, I love that joke. We're all too young to know. Well, we're all going to jail. Bobby, do you have the, you have the meds? The meds. The meds. <laughs> all right. Well, after tonight, we're gonna do a little Q&A. Let's do it. Well, after tonight's movie, I know you both will be back. And if you all have questions, we're gonna get some Q&A with our guest tonight. Are you ready for that? <laughs> If not, you have a good 80 minutes or so during the movie to think of some good ones. All right, give it up one more time, everybody, for John and Ed. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Excuse me, we're sharing a moment. How dare you? All right. Anyway. I guess I can get off this stage so we can start the movie. How does that sound? Uh, that's actually kind of sweet, but I'm contractually obliged to get off the stage and start the movie. So, are y'all ready to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Well then, let's massacre!
film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre.